Hello all, uh, Crafty Farmer here. Been a hell of a long time since I posted a video. Um, uh, at some point here I'll kind of go through, there's been a lot of changes since I last posted one. But anyways, this video is uh, about this rigid table saw, sort of a construction site saw that I've had for, geez, probably seven years or so. And it just recently, now to make a liar out of me, stopped working. So um, what I'm going to do is try to figure out why. I don't think it's this little safety tab, which is meant for not starting the machine. I don't have a problem with it. Um, but it just mid-strokes at some point here. Uh, several months ago it stopped working and now I have need for the bloody thing again and uh, so I gotta go dive a little bit deeper into what's going on so that's what we're gonna do here and before I get my finger chopped off I'm gonna unplug it and then we'll uh, go from there okay so we got her unplugged and uh, power comes in from the cord well, it loops all the way around back and goes into the box, which happens to be the switch. Ground is good. And so I think what we're going to do is open up the box and see if we have continuity uh, between this cable. Feeding the power in and uh, then see if we've got a switch problem in here or a lockout issue that lockout thing not working or we got a potentially a, a motor problem so and we'll take one step at a time all right so we have the switch apart this connection here goes out to the motor the red and the white on this side of the switch um, and the white and the black come from the cord part of my poor cameramanship Okay, so we checked that all the connections are, the wires are all good. And uh, so now what we're going to do is check the, the uh, we've got continuity from one side to the other. So I'm using this fluke meter. And it's set on the diode setting. It's a little bit worse for wear, but anyways, that's what we're set on. So we're gonna go from one side to the other side, and I have not done this yet, so we're gonna see. Come on, baby. There we go. No connection. Hmm. Okay, maybe we just got a bad switch now. Oh, there we go. Mm, that's weird though that the, uh, what was the white side of the switch does not, I don't know if you can see that or not, that was the white side. No continuity. So that's a no gonna work situation as far as I can tell. So I am going to see if I can find another switch. Um, and see what we have for. Let me get the sucker out of there. Because it sure would be nice if it's just a switch. Then I can just order one of these bloody things. And not have to buy a new table saw. Right? I'm not buying a table saw. So there's just these little squeezy uh, tabs on the side. You squeeze them and the sucker comes out. Um, and then right there, any of you others that are here able to make out those numbers there what's that h y uh h y eighteen twenty 
2 horsepower, blah blah, 20 amp. So, I'm going to try to find one of those gizmos and um, see if that solves the problem. And the other thing that we're going to do is uh, probably change out this terminal on the black one. Um, because uh, she is no good. And let's see what the schematic says. Look at that. Oh, usually there is like a little schematic on some of these things. I just wonder if... Yeah, we're still going to need to have continuity on the other two pins. So I'm going to guess that that is the problem. So the other thing I can do... I think I might have another switch just to confirm this is a problem. Okay, one more crazy thing to confirm. I have this 15 amp spade connector and what I did was just jump, make up a little jumper wire with a couple of spade ends on it to jump the neutrals. And I've plugged her in. So, that goes to confirm that this guy is the culprit. So, makes for a, a rather short video, but um, yeah, if uh, some of you guys are troubleshooting some of these gremlins on uh, in your home shop, it might just be your switch. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to... Uh, just like everybody else always says, like, comment, and subscribe. So um, talk to you later. Cheers.